In today's tutorial, I'll be talking about the latest GDPR tools in WordPress. So if you're thinking of using WordPress or you are already a WordPress user, I'll be covering these tools because they are very important because of these new laws that have just kicked in. So I'll be showing you how to use these tools and also how to set up your privacy policy page. If you are new to WordPress and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course which you can go ahead and enroll right away. The link is in the description below so you can get started right away. Okay, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you where these tools are. Okay, so I'm over here in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create your privacy policy page. Okay, so I'm going to come here to settings and then I'm going to click on privacy. So here's the thing. So if you have a privacy, privacy policy page, that's fine. You can always link to it here. But if you don't have one, you can go ahead and create one here by clicking on create new page. So this will now create your privacy policy page with some content from WordPress. Okay. So at first it comes, it comes across like this. This may seem a bit, you know, too uh, muddled up, but it's okay because we can customize this and make it look nice in our page builder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder and then I'm going to go into the Visual Builder. Okay, so you can see here the format is much better, but you can still go in and make further adjustments to your titles. Okay, so, so if we take a look at this, you can see here that uh, WordPress has tried to uh, give us some guidelines here. So what we need to do is to go in and customize this based on our own website. So you can go in and edit this. And by the way, I'm using Divi, but you can use any page builder. Uh, this will work absolutely fine. Okay, so over here, it just gives you an idea of um, what happens with the comments, the media, the cookies, and so on. So if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you can see that we have these titles here, which we need to go in and make sure we complete. So the first one here is how we protect your data. So this is where you want to go in and add your paragraph of how you protect uh, people's data. The next one here is what data breach procedures we have in place. So again, you want to go in and um, describe what these procedures are. So all these things here, you need to go in and fill in. But this is just an, uh, a guide to just uh, get you up and running. And I think this is a good idea because the format that we have here is plain. It's simple. So if we didn't have this, we will be just running wild, not knowing how the format looks like and what is required. Okay. So that's the privacy policy page. So once you've uh, created your privacy policy page, it's a good idea that you add it onto your footer. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to save this and I'm also going to save this page and publish it. So I'm going to exit the visual builder. So this is the link to my privacy policy page. So I'm going to highlight this text and then I'm going to come over here to my dashboard and go into customize. Okay. So now we have the ability now to go to the footer. So I'm going to come over here to footer bottom bar. Okay. So this is where you need to come and add your footer credits. But as you can see, this doesn't look neat. So what you may want to do is to come back over here and just open the text editor and uh, create a link. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to open any page or any post. Okay. So I'm just going to open this one here. So this is if you struggle with um, CSS and HTML. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to type in privacy policy like that. And then I'm going to highlight the text and then just add my link. And this is the link to my privacy policy page. Okay. So that's done. Now I can go into my text at uh, my text mode and then I highlight all this here like that. Okay. So that just saves you uh, adding all this HTML. Okay. So I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to go, in fact, I can delete this now because I don't need it. And then I'm going to come back over here to my themes. I'm going to customize. And then I'm going to go to footer, bottom bar, and then add my text in here. So now you can see if we take a look at the bottom here, now it's a link. So I'm going to publish. Okay, so now when we go to our website, 
If we click, click that link on the bottom, that should take us to our privacy policy page. Okay, so I'm going to click on that now. And there we go. Okay, but uh, of course, if you are familiar with uh, CSS, HTML, it is easier for you to just add the code that way. I just did this so that for those of us who are not familiar with HTML and CSS, they can do it in this way. Okay, so let's move on to the next tool. And this tool is quite important because let's say someone gets in touch with you and they want their data erased from your website. Now, WordPress again has made this uh, process easy. So let me show you how. So if I come over here to tools, we now notice that there is export personal data and erase personal data. Okay, so I'm going to click here on export personal data. Now, what happens here is when you first take a look at this, it's quite confusing because it looks like there is no personal data to export. But what you need to do is to add the username or the email address of that person that you that needs their data. So in this case, I'm going to add my own email address. I mean, my own username. And then I'm going to click on send request. So now this should go to my email address. And we can see here, Mac at Makita. Uh, so this is waiting confirmation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my email and take a look at what email I get. So here it is. A request has been uh, made to perform the following action to your account. So this is what the person gets when they send you, the, uh, send you that request. So if I click here, okay, so now that I've clicked this link, this is where it takes us. It just says, thanks for confirming your export request. Okay, so I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to go back into my website. So I'm just going to refresh this page. Okay, so we can see now that it's confirmed a minute ago. Now you can email the data. So if I click on email data, you can see here that it's sending the email. So I'm actually curious to see what data this file has. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my email and take a look at the data. Okay, so we can see here we have an email which says personal data export. So I'm going to click here to download the zip file. Okay, so here's the zip file. It's in my downloads folder. I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm also going to view this data. Okay, so this is the first time looking at the uh, exported data. So we can see here it has my email address. For this, the site, the login, the comments. So if I've made any comments, uh, they're all listed here. Moving on, we also have the author email. So there's quite a lot of information here. So all the comments that I've made on this website, they're all here. So it is quite a lot of data. And also the media URLs, they're all here as well. Okay, so that's the action you do if someone uh, requests for their personal data. So let's say someone wants their data erased. Again, all you got to do is to come over here to erase personal data. And then you want to add their name or username. So I'm going to add my username again. Click on send request. Okay. So again, it's awaiting uh, confirmation. So once done, this is where now I can go and click on force erase personal data. So all the data that's held for that user will all be erased and cannot be retrieved. Okay, so let's say you use LearnDash as your learning management system. Again, we're going to come over here to users, all users. So this gives you a list of all the users. But of course, this is my uh, testing website, so it won't have all the users. Okay, so if I click on edit, now I'm editing this as the admin. If I scroll all the way down here, we notice that we also have a check mark which says permanently delete course data. Okay, and this cannot be undone. So this is an addition from Learn Dash. So this is also great news if someone is a um, student on your website and they want all their data erased, you can go ahead and do that. And I'm sure there's also other plugins that have implemented uh, this way of erasing data on their website. Okay, so that's all I have in the WordPress GDPR tools. And uh, just to be sure, this is version 4.9.6. If you're running a version before that, these updates will not be there. And as I mentioned as well, if, you're, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course which you can go ahead and enroll right away. It's 100% free, no strings attached. So thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. By doing so, 
you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.